Dressed yeah, they're pretty here. good shorts. Uh, here's Coach Buck Harlan out of Noble Martial Arts by way of Maroochydore, Queensland. He went in at 93.4 kilograms with an undefeated fight record of two fights for two wins. Ladies and gentlemen, John Fraser. His opponent fighting out of the red. Uh, trained by Eugene Barman out of City Kickboxing by way of Auckland, New Zealand. He weighed in at 92.2 kilograms with an undefeated fight record of two fights for two wins. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Black Jag Albert. I think the first question I'm going to ask you, Jake, is what are they feeding them at City Kickboxing? Oh, he's a monster. Look at the size of him. It's a slight correction. I think, uh, this yeah. is a light heavyweight fight, Jake, yes? Yeah, but if you hadn't have said that, if you hadn't corrected yourself, I would have thought he was a heavyweight. He yeah, is huge. No, absolutely. Both fighters are massive. Good start there. John Fraser not showing any fear whatsoever, just a setting up. Nice, Big hair kick. Nice instep. And that was nice technique as well. That was an instep looking, looking basically to a uh, fool and land a high heavy head kick. Oh, he moves super cut. Oh, Carlos yeah, is super he's very, cool. very languid and very, very relaxed. He's just assessing his Especially opponent. Especially the striking with the amount of talent that's yeah. at City Kickboxing. He would have seen every look under the sun. And this is, a, this is something that you see out of all the City Kickboxing boys. There's an assessment of the fight you're coming up against first. Oh, it's not kick. coming in. It's not all rush and all power. It's an assessment of what you are and who you're about. Out, and then I they, love that I love that kick to the front of the knee there the oblique kick yeah, yeah. really yeah. checks it right at the front yeah, there yeah. it's horrible if, if they catch it when that leg locks out straight if they catch that oblique when you're straight my way it hurts Carlos yeah. throwing a lot of feints here too he's making John bite on a lot of his attempts here oh, oh nice, nice hook kick, kick again. nice hook kick and then a nice one two combo there from uh, Carlos firing straight back both feeling each other out in the yeah. first 90 seconds and you can see that power you can see the power both both fighters have power to be fair but you can really see Carlos unloaded there on the return and it was, uh, yeah, was, was not something to be messed with. And trying for a bleak kick of his own from John Fraser. Just John Fraser up. really unloading with a lot of kicks here. I wonder yeah. if that's something they plan, yeah. game plan, particularly for Carlos. But He's pretty unorthodox, isn't he, as well, which is, uh, which is no bad thing, you know what I mean? When a, fighter, when a fighter's trying to work you out and you can keep them guessing, if you can keep them guessing for as long as possible, that increases your chances of hitting. And with that range, with that range that uh, jo um, Carlos has, you know, John's going to have to actually get inside, you know? Um, Carlos has not really used that range yet, but I, I see that coming more into play as the fight progresses. Is he a bleak kick again? John gauging his distance, being really active here. Two minutes yeah. down in the first round, three five-minute rounds, pro fight, light heavyweight. It feels like I'm watching a cord of like dynamite just slowly, yeah. slowly go down. The fuse yeah, is going down. The, uh, anything about that? It'd be from either one of them. Yeah, we don't know. Oh, oh good ability kick there. Good counter. Apparently put Carlos slightly off his feet there. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's only going to be a matter of time till that dynamite explodes. Yeah. <laughs> Not, neither one of them really throw many hands. A lot of kicks here at the beginning. Yeah. There again with the feint with the other kick. Yeah, no, both fighters are really, really taking the time to assess it's good that it's John looking for the angles. Yeah, no. Oblique kick again. And that's what you want to see. Yeah, you don't want to see just two fighters like absolutely leather each other. Well, it's great fun. It often ends of the quick fight. There's, there's, there's thought and technique behind what's going on here. Both fighters are trying to work out the strategies to get on the inside and land some talent punches. John switching stance. Oh, oh, big left hand. Oh, violent. Just as John switching stance there too. He's gone from yeah. southport to orthodox, back and forth. Oh, and, and that landed in there. He tell that rock, John. John is slightly heavier on his feet now. Not bouncing around as much, just from that little combination. A bleak kick attempt again. Oh, yep, that range. Another left hand. That range, yeah, Carlos just slips, uses just that range. Slips right out of that lovely, punching range. Lovely Good body, body kick, kick there from Lo the southpaw stance. Yeah, lovely body kick from John Fraser. Good, heavy, high kick, my way, that was explosive. And a leg kick. Carlos starting to open up a little bit now. Yeah, I would like to see He's a little bit of grappling exchanges. I think, I think Carlos is very, very comfortable uh, exchanging on the feet. John is too, but I just think over time as it goes, um, it will start to tell on John. And I would like to see him just another up a heavy bit. leg kick. That was, and that one hit. That that thud that tells you it hits. When it slaps, it's not that bad. But I tell you what, when you hear that thud, you know that the fighter felt that. 
that was a slap. You know, you hear that, it, yeah. it hurts, it, it stings, but it's the thud, it's that, it's that bone on meat of your thigh, that, oh, the pain. Spinning wheel kick. Uh, it, was a, it was impressive, but it was very, well, very, very, very telegraphed. Seeing it coming from Big good body, body kick. kick. Excellent body kick from John Fraser, they hurt. Four minutes of an absolute compelling first round gone. Good, good combination. Excellent hands there Sean by Carlos his hands Uber. Really high and tight though. Really good defense from the from the Carl Note fighter here. Yeah, yeah. Is it, you know you, you know what you're going to get out. Carl Note's guys are going to be technical. They're going to be smart and they're going to be aggressive. You know, and we've seen that from John Fraser. And he absolutely looks like he belongs in there, which is the best. You know, one of the highest compliments I can pay him. To be totally honest, against an absolute athlete, Carlos Uber. Thirty seconds left in this round. See if both fighters turn it up a little bit with 20 seconds left to go. Eugene Berman looking on intently from the sides. We'll be seeing an explosive finish to our first round. Carlos, not wanting the chair in between rounds here. He's wanting to stand, take yeah. his breath, so go so forward, John's John's with that. Yeah, both two high-level pro athletes here. Getting some last-minute advice from Kyle Noakin about how to approach this task for he's got in front of him. It is a formidable task. But, you know, John's shown that he, he belongs in this company. He's in there. He's, he's hanging in. He's basically... Well, he's, he's an undefeated pro as well. Oh, yeah, you know? he is. He's 2-0, yeah. oh, BJJ Blue Belt. Um, but we've not seen any of that grapple on exchange yet, and I think that's something I'd like to see this round. I'd like to see either fighter try and get this fight to go. I'm trying to change it up a little bit and see where we go. The City Kickboxing boys are absolute absolute technicians when it comes to the striking but when the fight hits the ground you might see things even up a little bit you know and we move into round two of this exciting light heavyweight fight jake what do you want to see more of this round look Striking on the feet in terms of the punches. There's the takedown you were talking about. We talked about this. Yeah, this John shot for it straight away. Maybe that was something Carl said to him in the corner. Yeah, Big left hand. Carlos follow right. Yeah. yeah. Carlos stuffed it pretty easy. The punches, like they both exchange a lot of kicks that round. Oblique kicks, body kicks, leg kicks, the whole arsenal. I'd like to see him getting close and land some, land some punches. Back mm. each other up a little bit. Mm. You know, Carlos is extremely athletic, and extremely explosive. If he can get through that high guard of John. We might be able to see a finish here. Yeah, John, 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 like he actually got hold of the leg there as well. I just didn't seem to believe it. Didn't follow through on the single that he'd actually gained himself. And then Carlos was just able to sprawl quite easily on him. But you know? what he's done there as well, he's opened up a new avenue because now Carlos has to worry about if there's a takedown coming. In that That's first right, yeah. round, he just had to worry about mainly kicks, a few punches and exchanges, but that was it. Now, it's are uh, John going to shoot on him? Is John going to throw the kicks? Now it opens up a whole new pathway. And that's the only thing with being someone with such a, you know, you, you look at low, fighters with low senses of gravity, you know, those takedowns come very easy to them. That's probably one thing that Carlos doesn't have. He doesn't have that low sense of gravity. So setting up his own takedowns and stuff can often prove difficult from there. You need to be, ex you know, extremely explosive and athletic and change those levels very, very quickly, especially against what is a, quite a big guy in John Fraser. So I think Carlos is probably quite happy to keep it on the feet, a low, high, high leg kick attempt and then to the body yeah i want to see i want to see more from carlos now i want to see Big it open the kick. pace and we're seeing that now hopefully yeah, seeing that both, now both fighters aren't winning at all i would really like to see them pick up the pace here and there's a big oh, left hand yeah, yeah. we're now that seeing, got john's attention we're now seeing a bit of ross oh, and a right yeah. we're seeing power and every time he hits those punches john is just disengaging completely i'd like to see carlos i'd like to see carlos follow it up a little bit a low more. Blow here. Yeah, and we're going to see uh, up to five minutes here to recover it'll be interesting to see how long john takes Yeah, he's taking his time, which I absolutely don't blame him doing. Making sure he's right, and it was it was just one of those glancing blows as well. They're the ones I hate more than the full the full frontal ones when you just get a glance. Yeah. And they're the ones I can put you down. It's quite it's quite warm in here too. Both fighters are sweating profusely. It is quite warm inside the Italian club here in Perth. I wonder if that's going to take away from either of their gas tanks. But both both of them look like they're fresh. John's ready to go again. Good on him. 
There's take that down takedown attempt. attempt. Looking to Can stuff. he finish and it? No, stuff. again. And again. He, he, he didn't follow through with it. He doesn't quite believe in himself. He's getting that. He's getting himself to the point where he's got a single leg, but he's got to put his hips through, to bring his back up, almost like you're doing a deadlift, and then push on through, either through to the cage or through until the guy falls over. And he's not doing that. And it, it just means that, that basically uh, Carlos can basically sprawl on him. Once he sprawls on him, then that's it. And then as, as Ben's coming back up, he gets tagged. He gets tagged because he's coming up from a low position with his head's down. John, to pick the pace back up here, though. He's being a little bit more aggressive here. He's looking for those body punches as well, which take the toll over time. You know, he's blocking high to avoid those heavy punches, which is totally understandable, but it will take him out on the body over time. He's setting up pretty much every punch. Every punch he's going low, looking for the feint to come over the top. Yeah. I think you're going to see low jab, high up, high, high over, over, overhand. I think that's what we're going to see. Offset high kick. I really like Carlos to explode. He's really got the openings there. He hits beautiful angles. He uses great footwork. We just haven't seen him unload his hands yet. How would and you score this fight so far? Man? Look, I think I definitely think Carlos is winning. He's getting the harder punches in. He's controlling the center of the cage. No one you know, he's putting he's putting John back. But for someone I would believe at six and zero as a pro, who'd be looking to make that next step up in competition in terms of UFC, Bellator, any of these big promotions, they want to see finishes. They want to see guys that go for the kill and domination too. Yeah, they want to see guys that are going to look to get the take the guy out you know not just and not just a decent performance no, technically carlos is perfect he's doing really really well he comes from an amazing camp no a knock no, on another, ball another low blow yeah and we may we carlos got to be careful here. he may yeah the referee's giving him a warning one more of them he could see a point deducted and that would be pretty telling in what's been a very uh, yeah, you would say probably Carlos is ahead, but you know it's not. It's oh, not you a take a point away. You take a point away, and, and it's anybody's fault. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You just got to be careful that that one here, that one, that one here, John. Let's take this time now. And Kyle, now looking at the referee, just, just, just sort of letting him know. He's ready to go. He's coming yeah, back in yeah, now. That is, that is. He's not going to get another. He is not going to get another chance there if he does that again. And I'm not sure if the referee just gestured there to actually duck him a point. I'm not, no, I don't think no, he did. I, I think, think he did. just. I think he just let him know that he gave him a warning and another time, another time. Oh, good oblique kick, excellent oblique kick. That one, I felt that one. A minute left in this round here. Yeah. Carlos just needs to up the pace. He just needs to up the pace. Look, it's going to be interesting to see how they score this fight. Yeah. yeah. I think right now, I think yeah, I, I, I would have to give this one. Oh. Think, oh yeah and again again he was there he was in on it and he just didn't follow through yeah i just think he, uh carlos is way too explosive with those here. oh, oh big left hand that hurts. and uh, yeah but you know uh, john did well there he just circled out of trouble he was in trouble momentarily but he just circled out and he's fine again now no noticeable marks of damage which means that he's taking a punch well he's taking taking those big big hits and not and not not phase when he's taking them as well which is another sign i've been i've been really impressed with john fraser to be honest he's done really well Still sizing each other up here. Oh, there's a big left hand. He's been looking for that all night. Counter left hand off the leg kick. Put it again. Beautiful shot. We've got 10 seconds left. Will we see? Uh, we'll see our oh, good, good body kick again from John Fraser. Both fighters happy to see the round out. Slightly different stance taken up from. Yep. Oh. Who would you give that round to? Yeah, I, I don't know. I think that was an even round, to be honest. I don't think. I think maybe, maybe Carlos maybe hit some more, more talent strikes. I think maybe seen one or two more talent strikes from Carlos. John Fraser's is busy though, isn't he? He's busy. He's busy. He's industrious. He's throwing clever combinations. He's throwing. He's throwing moves, which basically, uh, you know, are landing. Not causing any, he's not caused any significant damages and, and I've got to say Carlos is looking very very relaxed in that ring there right now um, I think John's got to up the pace I think he's got to look I think he's got to he's got to not just win this round convincingly I think he's actually going to get a knockout it'd be interesting to see if either one of the the fighters comes out looking for the finish either one of them could be down two rounds to nil I do believe Carlos is up on the cards yeah, I believe he's been the more busier fighter land of the harder shots yeah but it'll be interesting to see yeah, I believe so I believe so um, and we are coming up to round three.
And here we go, round three. Round three started with a bang. Oh, Big left hand by Carlos. Gorgeous. Oh, oh and a body good kick. body kick. What a hard too. fucking body kick. <laughs> good outside leg kick by Carlos. Yeah, both fighters have definitely stepped up the tempo. Definitely stepped up the tempo right now. Carlos looking to get the finish in this round. I think I think I think that's what we need to do. Even though he's come probably comfortably ahead in this round, I think he needs to try and get the finish here and get, bring himself to the point where basically he, uh, you know, look gets that impressive win on his record, especially here, especially on the stream. What do you think, Jay? Oh, another good combination. Another good combination. What do you think of the start so far, Jay? Yeah, Carlos started really strong in the opening minute. I like to see him really put an uh, exclamation point on this round and even this fight. Yeah, I think so too. I think I think I think we're seeing that now, aren't we? We're seeing definitely seeing a ramp up in terms of in terms of the performance of the, uh, of Carlos. Good jab, right hand, but that high guard again. He's catching him on the gloves. Nothing's really getting through to damage John here. Apologies for a little bit of interference before. We just had a slight interloper come into the commentary team as he walked past. So apologies about that. Outside leg kick by John was a very heavy leg kick. Oh, yeah, Jab. And, and you can see... Oh, and he's venom. bleeding under his, his right eye now. He's opened up a cut just under John's right eye. Oh, John Stone for the breaches himself. Yeah, well. oh, there's oh, that good shot. takedown attempt. And he believed in that one, and he's got himself... And he's let it go again. Deep on the, he got himself deep on the single there. Yeah. And I think if the cage wouldn't have been there, he actually might have actually got that takedown. Yeah, I, I really believe that Carlos's hips are just really strong in that position. Yeah. As soon as he connects there, he's just throwing him off. But we've got a clinch here this is the first time we've had a clinch oh, oh back, back elbow, elbow. Spin and back elbow and i just copped a lot of sweat yeah, in my I face i think i did the same mate don't worry about it you're not alone there both fighters sizing each up in the middle of the ring engage engage ash j engage on and ash change watching on intently next to eugene berman in the corner excited by what he's seeing enthused by what he's seeing so far John Fraser blowing a little bit heavier yeah, now. Dropping his hands as he's moving forward as well, which is a bit dangerous against a fighter of this caliber. I'd like to see Carlos look to finish here. Yeah. Really pick up the pace. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. We've got two and a half minutes left, and, you know, a fighter of his caliber, a fighter of his quality, and right should hand. be looking for that finish. Yeah, his, his eye is really starting to mark up now. John Fraser's left eye. Looking for those kicks. Not setting them up, though, just throwing them. He's still got a lot of output for the halfway through the third round. Yeah, he is. He's extremely fit. He's, uh, both fighters are extremely fit. Um, got a big, big, big breath. They oh, good there's a nice combination. Crisp, crisp hands. Crisp hands from Carlos. This is what I like to see a lot more of. He has those power in those hands he and does. he has the speed. He does. He should be setting them up. And how dangerous would he be if he just basically put in the odd takedown feint, even a fake takedown feint, to make the guy get ready and potentially drop oh, his hand. There's hands. that left hand he's yeah. looking for again. That overhand left. There we go. That's what I want to see. I want to see him set up. I want to see him set up his punches with some takedowns as well. Because what it does is it basically brings the guy's guard down to defend the takedown. And then if that leaves him wide open, because John's done well at blocking a lot of good nice job. Left. John's done well at blocking a lot of those punches. But if you can bring those hands down with a takedown attempt, then, you know, you can set them up for that flush punch, that finishing punch that we're wanting to see. 90 seconds left. Who's yeah. going to take this round? John's definitely John's definitely a little bit heavier on his feet on right, this round. It's time to start to take his toll. Good oblique kick, though. Good counter. Throwing punches. Sweat rising off the gloves every time John, John takes a hit. I might have jinxed both these gentlemen with wishing for a long three-round <laughs> war. <laughs> That's what we've got. That's what we've got. But no, I'm not complaining. No, no, no. This, this is a technical, nice. technically a brilliant fight. Both yeah, of them no. make... I, extremely proficient on their feet yeah. they're landing nice clean shots and it's what uh, this card's needed tonight a yeah. lot of first round finishes on this eternal card both fighters could be proud of themselves can't they really it's been a it's been a cracking backwards and forward contest and, and there's obviously so much more to oh come. nice oh, and, and there to carlos is looking open yeah, up a bit yeah, yeah carlos up nothing a really bit got through but it's got john's attention Thirty second left in the round. Will we see? Will we see a heavy finish? Will we see an exciting finish? Or will this will this come out the way it's been going for the rest of the fight? Ten, Ten seconds. seconds left. Here we go. I think this is going to go to a judge's decision. Will we see a fast finish? Will we see a fast finish? Carlos comes forward. 
and that's the end of what is a riveting fight. Carlos with his hands up, thinks he's won the fight. Great performance by both fighters. Great performance. I'm very impressed. Yeah, very, very technical impressed. performance. Yeah, it was. Some, some great, great display of striking. Great display of backwards and forwards there. I think, I think for um, John Fraser, he just, he just needs to basically believe in those takedowns a bit more. Who knows what would have happened if he got the fight to the floor in the second and third round? Who knows? But I think just on those striking exchanges, Carlos Ulberg will just edge that fight. I, I believe so too. And I am joined ringside by Stephen Kennedy. Stephen, tell us very, very quickly what you... Th and just before we do that, we'll just go to our announcements for our fight and then we'll be straight back with you. Who do you think won before we hear it? Carlos Alberg. Three rounds, all rounds? Maybe one round, maybe one round the other way. We seem to be having... A, we're not quite ready yet. Steve, what did you think of that fight? Man... I know Carl Zolberg's got hands for days. I was supposed to put one of our fighters, Bill Warwicker, in with him. And I checked him out on YouTube, watched his boxing fights, and I was like, that plus the fact that he trained at City Kickboxing with all those killers, yeah. Israel, Dan Hooker, they've actually got like, like they got Junior Tafa, he's like top five in the world kickbox. I was like, maybe it was three weeks out or something. I was like, maybe it's not the best one to feel, even though Phil's bigger than him. I thought, no, we'll wait, because that kid has got dynamite in his hands. And we go to that. Mitch Sidney for our decision. After three rounds, we head uh, to the judges. After three rounds, we head to the judges for a decision. Your judges score 30, 27, 30, 27, 29, 28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Carlos Uber. Dan. That was what I expected. Isn't yeah. Mitchell Tinley the best announcer in the world? He is not bad. He is not bad. He knows what he's doing. But you notice he's dressed very somberly tonight. Looks like he's just been to a few. He was actually told to tone it down, which I understand. Which yeah, I understand. Yeah, I know. He was when getting a bit flamboyant. When, when, you wear the, when, you wear, when you're wearing snakeskin outfits, it's uh, not, not, not the best. But 